Here's the uh, fuel maximizer for a car. Uh, you get it in this little box here with some instructions. And when you open it up, it'll have uh, the ties to connect them. It'll have a cooling system maximizer. This can go either on the top or the bottom tube um, going into or out of the radiator. It just has a flat plate and this connects around the, uh, the tubing. Uh, the one for the fuel flat plate on one side and this goes uh, before it goes into the uh, in, uh, intake and then for the air energizer you actually have two and they will oppose each other like this with the air tube going between and if you and if it's like most cars with the uh, plastic remote tubing leading out of the air filter that's where you want to put it before that goes into the intake as well and so you get all this in one kit and it should only take just a couple minutes to install. Okay, this is a 2.5 liter uh, GT uh, Subaru engine. This is a 2.5 liter boxer engine, uh, four cylinder horizontally opposed pistons. They go two are on this side going this way, two are on this side going that way. That's one of the secrets to the long engine life for these things. Um, out of the three different magnetizers here, uh, fuel air and uh, coolant system, these are two return lines for the fuel. So the fuel is coming into here and then it's leaving this tube coming into the intake. So the fuel one will go here. Uh, the coolant system one will put right here. And it doesn't matter if you put it on the top or bottom, it's going to treat the whole system. So we'll put that one right here. And then the air intake from the filter coming through here. This is the only little round pipe we have before it gets to the intake we can get to, so we're going to put that right there. So the first one we'll do is I'm going to do the fuel one, and that's leaving the fuel filter before it goes to the intake. About the only option we have, and that's pretty much where it's supposed to go anyway. Clip off little ends there, and once it's nice and snug, there we go. So the fuel is already done. Next, we'll do the coolant system. Sure to clear the fan, which we are, and these ties are long enough for this diameter of tubing. So you want to, it might be easier usually to have one already started and then once you get them both then you can just tighten them up. And once they're tight then you can just snip off the ends. That's on there really good, it's not going to go anywhere. Then the next we'll do the one for the air system, which is the opposite polarity. And they will oppose each other. No matter which way you put them, they're going to oppose. And again, it's the opposite polarity from the fuel. So we get one started and not snugged up too much just because of the diameter of the pipe here. But again, these ties are good enough so that when it is snug, that they, uh, they are long enough to t keep it tight, tightly held together.
Okay, and all we gotta do is snip off the uh, excess there. And we're done. So again, we have the fuel over here. We have the air treatment with the double opposing magnets of the opposite polarity on the air. And then we have uh, treating the cooling system because of course there's scale buildup inside the engine and that reduces the heat transfer from the heat in the engine to the coolant. So once that's descaled and everything, your radiator, all that cooling system is gonna work a lot more better. And that whole thing took uh, just a few minutes.